Stop saying I'm tired. Guys, your advanced English vocabulary and phrases you can better use to express your exhaustion in English. In this video lesson, I will teach you advanced vocabulary, advanced English phrases to help you better express yourself when speaking in English. Now, if this is the first time you're here on my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Adriana from EnglishTeacherAdriana.com. I help English learners improve their English, boost their confidence, to finally speak English confidently. If you'd like to drastically improve your confidence speaking in English, make sure to follow the next two steps. First of all, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on notifications so that you know you get that bell when I post my next video lesson here to help you improve your confidence speaking in English. Two, download my free audio guide so you can better understand exactly what you need to be doing every single day speak English confidently in any situation. To download my free audio guide, make sure to click the link in the description below this video, enter your name, your email address, and I will send you my free audio guide. You've done that? Fantastic. Now guys, throughout this video lesson, I suggest that you use and apply the shadowing technique. So while you're learning these English phrases, repeat, shadow, imitate, copy me out loud so that you get the speaking practice you need to learn and remember these phrases when speaking in English. Okay, so you found yourself a quiet spot. Let's begin with the first phrase you could use instead of always saying, I'm tired in English. The first phrase, I'm B, I'm B is informal. It's a great phrase to be using in conversational settings. When you want to express that you're really, really tired, you feel like somebody's beaten you. For example, there's no chance I'm going out tonight. I'm B. Again, pronunciation. I'm B. I'm B. Now a similar phrase is a phrase I'm drained. I'm drained. So when you're really tired, you feel like someone or an activity has taken the life out of you, they've drained all your energy, then it's great to be using this phrase I'm drained. Please note that this phrase is really informal. It's great to be using in conversations with friends and family. For example, I can't play tennis today. I'm physically drained. Again, pronunciation, I'm drained. I'm drained. Now a phrase that you probably already use, the phrase being, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted, is also another way of saying I'm tired, but here you're expressing more the fact that you have no energy and you can't do anything. For example, I can't make dinner tonight, I'm exhausted. Again, pronunciation, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. Now in the situation that you're not really that tired, but you want to get yourself out of doing something or seeing somebody, then you could use the phrase, I'm kind of tired. Now have a look at the phrase here. When I say this phrase, I say, I'm kind of tired. This is fast English. This is very natural. Many English speakers use this, kind of tired. We could say, I'm kind of tired, but so much mouth work. Native English speakers are so lazy, me, myself included. I'm kind of tired, I'm kind of tired, a lot faster way of saying this phrase. For example, I'm kind of tired, I'm not going for a run with you. Again, pronunciation, I'm kind of tired, I'm kind of tired. Now the phrase I'm fried, I'm fried is a really great informal conversational, even slang phrase you could use to express that you're completely exhausted, you're fried. I usually use this really often, for example, when I need to do a mentally exhausting activity. So I use this expression, I'm fried, in a sentence saying, so I can't do the task you want me to do, I'm brain fried. Here in this sentence, I'm expressing that I mentally cannot think anymore. So my brain is exhausted, it is fried. It's a great phrase and I use it a lot to express that I'm mentally exhausted. You can also use it to express that you're physically exhausted. In my situation, I like to use brain fried to express that I'm mentally exhausted. Again, pronunciation, I'm fried. I'm fried. It's not for the head, don't roll the R. Fried, fried. Now the phrase I'm pooped, I'm pooped is an informal phrase. You may hear this in TV shows, in movies. I personally don't use this a lot. I find it to be a little bit rude. I don't feel comfortable using this with a lot of people, but many English speakers do use it and it is okay to be using in informal settings with friends and family, people you feel comfortable speaking with. For example, I'm not going out tonight, I'm pooped. Again, pronunciation, I'm pooped, I'm pooped. 
But a more formal way of expressing this could be using the phrase, I'm worn out. I'm worn out. This is a great phrase to be using in formal settings, to be polite, great to be using at work, with your boss, with colleagues, to express that you are tired. For example, I can't take the overtime tonight. I'm worn out. Again, pronunciation, I'm worn out. I'm worn out. Notice connected speech, worn out. Worn out. I'm worn out. Now the phrase, I'm done, I'm done, is a great phrase to be using in informal settings. It is a little bit slang, great to be using in conversational settings to express that you can't do anything else, you're so exhausted and you're so tired. For example, if you ask me, Adriana, do you wanna run a marathon with me? We're like, mate, I'm done, I can't run the marathon. Here, I'm done is used to express the fact that I'm tired. Again, pronunciation, I'm done, I'm done. Also the phrase, I'm knackered, I'm knackered. This is a slang phrase used by a lot of Australians and it's used to describe the fact that they're tired. Now careful with pronunciation, okay guys? It's not knackered, 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 knackered. Okay, it's tricky, knackered, I'm knackered. For example, you may ask me, hey Adriana, let's go to the shops tonight. Like, sorry mate, I'm knackered, I can't go with you. Again, pronunciation, I'm knackered, I'm knackered. Also the phrase, I'm dog tired, I'm dog tired. Great phrase to be using in informal settings, it is slang, it is really conversational, to express the fact that you're really, really tired. You're as tired as a dog who's been running maybe for a long, long time. For example, if you ask me, Adriana, will you come and watch a soccer match with me tonight? Like, sorry, I'm dog tired, I'm going to bed early. Again, pronunciation, I'm dog tired. I'm dog tired. But a more formal, a little bit more polite way of expressing this could be with the phrase, I'm wiped out. I'm wiped out. This is still informal, it's conversational, and it basically means that you're really tired, you can't think, you can't function. Like someone's just hit you, not literally, but you can't move, you can't function, so you're wiped out. For example, if you ask me to go to the soccer match with you, I could say, instead of I'm tired, sorry mate, I'm wiped out, I'm staying home. Again, pronunciation, I'm wiped out, I'm wiped out. Now you could also use the phrase, I'm spent, I'm spent, to express that you're tired. But here, when you say I'm spent, doesn't mean that you spent all your money, it means that you spent all your energy. So you're exhausted because you have no energy left in you. For example, if you ask me to go watch a soccer match with you tonight, and I'm just too tired, instead of saying this, I could say, I'm spent, I'm staying in tonight. Again, pronunciation, I'm spent, I'm staying in tonight. I'm spent, I'm spent. But if you find yourself in a really formal situation, then instead of using those phrases, you could use a phrase, I'm weary, I'm weary. Personally, I don't use this phrase too often. It's very, very polite, it's very formal, but it is a great phrase to be using at work, with colleagues, with people that you have a formal relationship with. For example, if my colleagues ask me to watch a soccer match with them tonight, instead of me saying, I'm tired, I could use the phrase, I'm weary, I'll be staying in tonight. Here, it's very polite, it's very formal, great phrase to be using in work settings with people you have a formal relationship with. Again, pronunciation, I'm weary, I'm weary, weary, I'm weary. Of course, you could also use the synonym fatigued to be more polite and to express that you are very tired. For example, the phrase, I'm fatigued. I'm fatigued. Great formal phrase to be using at work setting with colleagues, with people in a formal relationship. For example, will you be joining us at the soccer match tonight? Sorry, I'm fatigued. I'll be staying in tonight. Again, pronunciation, I'm fatigued. I'm fatigued. Now, an informal phrase that I use quite often, and many English speakers do as well, is a phrase, I can hardly keep my eyes open. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Now, if you're really tired and your eyes are closing and you should be asleep, but you're awake and somebody's asking you to do something. For example, it's late and my husband's asked me, Adriana, do you wanna watch a movie? I could answer him by saying, sorry, I can't. I can hardly keep my eyes open. And this is a great phrase to be using instead of saying, I'm tired. Again, pronunciation, I can hardly keep my eyes open. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Now, another phrase which is also informal, and I use this phrase really often when I'm really, really exhausted. So I can't think, I can't move. The phrase is, I'm dead to the world. 
I'm dead to the world. Yeah, this is a great phrase to express the fact that you can't think, you can't do anything because you are so tired. For example, if my sister called me up at 11 p.m. She says, hey, Adriana, do you want to go out tonight? Like, sorry, I'm dead to the world. I'm going to bed. Again, pronunciation, I'm dead to the world. I'm dead to the world. Now, a similar phrase to this is the phrase, I'm flat out tired. I'm flat out tired. For example, my sister calls me up at midnight, says, hey, do you want to go out with me? Hit the clubs. And I reply, sorry, I'm flat out tired. I got to go to bed. Careful pronunciation, I'm flat out tired. I'm flat out tired. Or in this situation, I could also use a shorter phrase. The phrase being, I'm dead. I'm dead. Now here, I'm not expressing that I'm dead, but I'm expressing that I am dead tired. So instead of saying, I'm dead tired, I'm just dead, and a lot of English speakers use this to express that they are really, really exhausted. Again, pronunciation, I'm dead. I'm dead. Now, if you've had a long day, you've really done a lot, but someone's asked you to do something else and you can't because you're tired, instead of saying you're tired, you could use a phrase, I can't, I'm running on empty. Now, the phrase I'm running on empty means that you have no energy reserves left in you. Instead of saying, sorry, I can't do that, I'm tired, Sorry, I'm running on empty is a great phrase to be using to express the fact that you have no more energy, you're exhausted and you're tired. For example, my boss asked me to go to the bank once more after work and I had to reject him. I said, sorry, but I'm running on empty. I really need to go home and sleep. Again, pronunciation, I'm running on empty. I'm running on empty. But if you're really tired, maybe you've been tired for a prolonged period of time, then you could express this using the phrase, I'm burnt out. Now guys, I really hope that none of you are burnt out. Basically, if you're burnt out, it means that you've been overworking yourself, you've been doing a lot, it's not a good place to be in, but you may find yourself in this situation. For example, my friend Mary, she's been working for two years straight with no holidays and she's burnt out. Careful pronunciation, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out. Remember guys, that practice makes perfect. Make sure to watch this video lesson a few times. Once is great, twice is perfect, and shadow. Repeat, say these words, sentences out loud so that you get the speaking practice you deserve to remember these phrases when speaking in English. Now guys, let's take it one step further and let's complete a homework task together. While you're watching this video lesson for the second time, choose five new phrases you've learned in this video lesson and use them in a sentence in the comments below this video. Remember to make sentences personalized to you so that you remember them and use them when speaking in English. Remember guys, if you like this video lesson, do let me know by smashing that like button, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on notifications so that you know you get that bell when I post my next video lesson here to help you improve your confidence speaking in English. Also continue learning with me by watching this video lesson here and don't forget to download my free audio guide where I share with you exactly what you need to be doing every single day to drastically improve your confidence speaking in English. Click this link here to download my free audio guide. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson. Bye for now.